Hi, this is Leo, and we're going to take an in-depth look at Soundtrap. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to put together a basic drum loop using the Beatmaker. And for this one, we want to explore more of the options that are available when composing a full project. And I have a few projects I've been playing around with here. So we're going to open up the first one. We're going to come over to the Word Studio. And when this loads in, you're going to see a lot more tracks in my sequence. And at the very top, I have my drum. And underneath that, I have some various other things going on. I have hi-hats, drum fills, synthesizers, bass, guitar, piano, and even some sound effects. Since we're familiar with the drum sounds, though, let's isolate this track. We're going to click on the headphones, and it's going to make this track playable and mute all the rest of them. All right, sounds pretty good. Now, if I want to explore something else here, I can uncheck these headphones, and let's listen to the guitar by itself. Now to put together that guitar sound, it's a little bit different than using the beat maker. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hover over this guitar sound, and you'll see that says Piano Roll Edit, so I'm going to click here. And now it's going to bring up a different panel, and each of these represent a different string or a different piano note that's being played. And if I click on it, you can hear that, and I can even drag it. And I can do that for every single sound that's sequenced here. So when I play this, you can see that in real time. And that's what's happening with everything else that we see on the sequencer. So as I uncheck these, and we play all of them together, you'll get more of the full picture. And every single one of these can be opened up, and we can change the instrument. So right now it's on pads, vintage vibe, and I can listen to that just by pressing the keys here. And if I don't like that sound, I can switch it out with another one. And I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit, and we'll hear what the track sounds like with everything going at the same time. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an idea of what you can do with Soundtrap. And there's a lot more options available that you can explore, but that should be something to get you started and playing around with too.